Hello, my name is Carlos Núñez and I work with Riverbed Technical Support. Today we are going to explore the differences between Steelhead SaaS service and Cloud Steelhead. We will start with the main characteristics from the Steelhead SaaS service. As usual, with any Steelhead deployment, we will need two Steelheads to optimize the traffic. In the branch office, we have a regular Steelhead that should have been configured to optimize Steelhead SaaS traffic, as explained in the user guide. And in the cloud, we have what we call an Akamai Cloud Steelhead, or ACSH. So let's focus on the main characteristics from the ACSH. This Steelhead is a virtual device. It doesn't have any web user interface or CLI available to the end customer. Only Riverbed has access to it for troubleshooting purposes. The ACSH specifications are equivalent to a Steelhead 1050M, which can optimize up to 1300 connections. It can take up to five minutes for the ACSH to spin up. After an idle time of five days, the ACSH will spin down. The geographic location of the ACSH will be as close as possible to the destination server. The allocation of the ACSH is done automatically by Akamai and can't be controlled by the end customer. New instances will be deployed as needed based on the number of connections. Currently, the Steelhead SaaS service optimizes traffic to these SaaS providers. All these providers are selected by Riverbed and the list may change in the future. Now we will discuss the Cloud Steelhead. This is a typical Cloud Steelhead deployment where we have a regular branch Steelhead and a Cloud Steelhead deployed in either AWS or Azure Clouds. The Steelhead in the Cloud has the following characteristics. This Steelhead is deployed manually. In AWS, it can be deployed using the Riverbed Cloud Portal or manually from the AWS console. In Azure, it can only be deployed using the Azure Portal. This is an out-of-path steelhead with no in-path interfaces. The traffic is optimized using the primary interface. It has full web user interface and CLI access. Several models with different specifications can be deployed depending on the purchase license. Geographical location can be selected by the user when deploying the instance. Due to the out-of-path deployment, there are two options to optimize the traffic, installing a discovery agent in the server or using fixed target rules on the branch steelhead, pointing to the primary IP address of the cloud steelhead. Customers can select which servers they want to optimize. To summarize, I have listed the main differences side by side with this chart. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you soon again.